In this tutorial, I'll be using an Xbox One controller. It may work with other controllers too, but I've only tested with an Xbox One controller. To get started, you'll need a scene and a script. I've gone ahead and made a demo scene that will vibrate the controller once the button is pressed. Head into your script and type out this line of code where you'd want it to be. I will be my button press function, as this is when I want my controller to vibrate. In order to get your controller to vibrate, you'll need to give it four values. The first one is the value of the device you want to vibrate. For most people, this will be device zero, but if you're using more than one device, this may change. The next values you'll need to input are the second and third values. These values will be used to determine the strength of the vibrations in the controller. Xbox One controllers have four motors, two strong ones which are located here, and two weak ones which are located here. The second value decides the strength of the weak motors, and the third value decides the strength of the strong motors. The max values for both of these are 1 and the minimum value is 0. For this example, I'll set them both to 0 0.5, which is half their strength. The fourth and final value is the duration in seconds. This decides how long the controller should vibrate for. Setting it to 0 will make the controller vibrate indefinitely, however for this example I'll be setting it to 1. If you don't set a duration and need to stop the controller from vibrating, then you can use this line of code. You may need to replace the zero with the value of the device you want to stop vibrating. Don't forget to run your program and test that your device vibrates. If this video was helpful to you, please just leave a like as it would help me more than you think. The video on the right is one that YouTube thinks you'll like, so consider checking it out. Oh, and subscribe for more.